today we have the privilege of having Professor Dr. T. Mukherjee, who is a leading nephrologist and transplant specialist in Delhi. He has over 30 years of experience in this area and has been consultant to royal families and presidents of countries previously. Welcome to... Uh, Hi Kaushik, thanks for having me over. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So first, let me start with the first question is, as a leading nephrologist, what is the say, current state of or prevalence of kidney diseases that you are seeing in India? Yeah, uh, I'm very glad you asked me this co uh, question, Kaushik. Uh, kidney disease is a huge global burden. In fact, WHO has declared kidney disease as a global pandemic. So you can imagine the numbers. So in India also, uh, studies have shown that almost 1 in 9 or 1 in 10 percent have some form of kidney disease, some form or the other. So that means in a room of 10 people, you can be more or less assured that one or two people will have some kind of kidney ailment. And more often, more than two, two and a half lakh people reach the stage of dialysis everywhere, every year in India. So you can imagine the total number of burden of kidney disease in India is quite high. So what are the early symptoms that, you would, uh, that we see uh, of a kidney disease? You know, Kaushik, the tragedy of kidney disease is that it's a silent disease. What do I mean by silent? When you have a chest problem, you will have palpitations, you will have sweating, you will have pain. Suppose you have a brain problem, you will have seizures or you will faint or you will have visual loss or something. Kidney disease is very silent except for kidney stones. Other than that, all kidney problems are extremely silent. But you can have some indicators if somebody suddenly has too much of urine output or too low a urine output or passage of blood in urine pain in the stomach loss of appetite loss of weight which is unexplained uh, patients who start feeling lethargic they have uh, inability to sleep they see swelling around their eyes, they see swelling around their feet or they are passing gravel or pieces in the urine. All these are indicators of kidney disease. Even symptoms like inability to conceive a child can have renal failure as the background reason. So once you correct that, the patient is, un is able to conceive and have a normal family. So there are multiple signs and symptoms, but they are very subtle and they need to be looked into and investigated to find the cause. So, so Dr. Mukherjee, uh, as you said uh, that, you know, it, it is extremely prevalent now in India, uh, kidney diseases. And Absolutely. It, it's, a, it's a silent disease, mm. so very difficult to identify. But you have given us quite a bit of insight about what are the symptoms uh, that could lead to a kidney disease. So what are the treatments currently available in India and in Delhi uh, for uh, such uh, problems? Uh, the good part of uh, treatment for kidney diseases Anything that is available anywhere in the world is available in India today. There are three main modalities of treatment of kidney disease. The first is when the patient is in the early stages, if you diagnose, do a kidney biopsy, there are medications available which can reverse kidney disease. So catching it early, diagnosing it properly and then treating it with the correct medication can save many patients from going into renal failure. But if you are one of those unfortunate people who have reached the stage of end stage kidney disease that you are uh, no longer able to maintain your life without external support then there are three modalities available. You have to opt for one of the renal replacement therapies. The first option is to do hemodialysis where you go to a hospital or at home a machine which is an artificial kidney takes your blood, cleans it and returns it to you and you go back to work. The second option is to do this at home, what is called peritoneal dialysis. In this, no machine is required. Your own body uh, internal membranes act as filters and remove the toxins from your body. And the third option, of course, is kidney transplant. There are many forms of kidney transplant. We can discuss it at a subsequent stage. 
So last one of the other question is, when anyone faces with these kind of kidney problems, the one thing that comes into who should I contact and how I can be, reach out to the right person for advice. So given you are one of the leading nephrologists and uh, transplant surgeon in India, how can people reach out easily to you and get your advice? So the person who deals with kidney disease is a nephrologist. So when you have features or signs and symptoms which suggest that you may be in danger of having a kidney disease or you already have one, please reach out to your nearest nephrologist. As for me, I am available in Max Gurgaon as well as BL Kapoor Hospital Delhi and you can contact me anytime through the hospital website for any advice or help you require. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.